<laughs> the period study. It happened almost by accident in uh, about 19... Oh, 82. So um, if you're doing a Dryden play, which is in fact a French form, mm -hmm. embellished with its Baroque energy, yes. but then transferred to Britain. Rhyming couplets and these great big stories, that, that the conquest of Granada by the Spaniards, the throwing out of the, of the Moors. Great big epic, epic stories. From an acting point of view then, how do I, as an actor, if I'm in Andromache or if I'm in a, a Dryden piece, how do I put truth into, if I'm talking about God sitting on clouds, coming with chariots and swords to enact whatever on Neptune, how do I put truth in that if that's not my world? That's where your imagination comes in. And where did all those things come from in the first place? They were imagined by human beings who were concerned to lift up their passion into those great spheres. But what they wanted I to the celebrate their passion, long, celebrate their lives. But if I an artist in 2009, I don't believe that. I don't believe those spheres. I don't believe them in the church anymore. I don't believe the stuff about pearly gates. I don't believe the stuff about the seven circles of hell. I don't believe that. That's from another culture. So here I am in 2009 being asked to believe about heightened levels that I don't believe. What who, do I do? Who cares whether you believe them? You're not, you're not paid to believe them. But I'm looking for the truth of them. So if I don't believe them, then I'm acting a truth. Where does that all come from? It came from human beings who imagined it. Can you imagine? There is truth. There is truth. They're talking about human passions, human interactions on a grand scale, but it's all. That's what we think of ourselves as human beings. That's what it is to be a human being, to be that kind of a noble creature. Uh, the mischievous part in me says, yes, I know. the actor on CSI Miami, working in the CSI Miami morgue set, which is heightened, rhetorical, mm -hmm. not connected to reality, like the world you're describing of, of Racine and Dryden. It is, and the actors acting, the morgue technicians and the autopsy doctors, have no more bearing to the nitty-gritty of this world, but are reaching to a grander ver version of it, mm -hmm. all glossed, all beautifully lit, all beautifully skinned and haired, and even the corpses are pretty in the morgue on CSI Miami. <laughs> and that is a heightened, what I am suggesting, an equally, but not as valuable, rhetorical acting world that those actors have to act. The same as if I had to act Dryden, I'd have to use my imagination to reach to those levels and believe those levels. And if I act the excretable CSI in Miami, I do have to make my imagination that, uh, you know, doctors would actually work in morgues that look like, you know, a five-star hotel. Mm -hmm. I think it comes from a different impulse. Those things are faked up uh, in order to flatter and perhaps reassure an audience who wants to look into all of that without having to be affected by it particularly. Whereas what I'm talking about is a celebration of what we feel deepest in about our humanity, a celebration of it on a grand scale if we could rise to those fantastical heights, that's all from inside us. Whereas that other is a manufactured thing meant to uh, anesthetize and flatter the frightened sensibilities of the people who were uh, glad enough to be watching it at that remove. Yeah. I think that's Can I give you another example then? 
if I watch, uh, if I go to the Native Arts Performing Centre here mm -hmm. in Toronto and I see a play about the trickster and the god and the this, I am feel like I'm watching a version of rhetorical and heightened yes. reality theatre. Yes, quite likely. That is, in a way, in not in the tradition because they were separate, mm -hmm. but in the same vein of yeah. let us talk about larger themes yes. and let's talk about the spirit of the trickster exactly. and the spirit of Raven exactly. and the spirit of these things. And that's a celebration of culture. And so that is a rhetorical and heightened style Absolutely. of these First Nations artists. Yes, yes. They're not pretending that they behave like that on their reserves. They don't. But this is what they, what they came from. It's an expression of their, of their religion, of their sense of self. It's a celebration of that. And therefore, it's a, on a big, big scale. And it's from the same, same time frame, too. Yeah, it is. Or if not older. If not older. Much older.